Hey everybody, it's Corey here at More Guitars with another edition of Little, Little Guy, Guy with a Big Guitar. Big guitar. <laughs> Hopefully we get a lot of reverb on that. Uh, anyway, today I am uh, holding a large box guitar, as the old timers in my area would like to, like to call this. Uh, this is a Breedlove Discovery S Concert ED Bass, and it is really an extraordinary instrument. Uh, not too big, not too little, uh, it's just right. So let's take a look at, at what we've got here. This is made by Breedlove, and this is from their Discovery S series. The S series is from their sustainable line. So I know this is kind of a weird concept to a lot of guitar players, but this is a vegan instrument. And that doesn't mean that you can't eat it because absolutely you can eat it. You just have to take very, very small bites uh, at a time. But this has zero animal products, uh, no hide glue, no bone, um, nothing that was taken from an animal. It also has been taken from forests and from trees that were sustainably harvested. And this is a very big deal to breed love right now, and it's a big deal to us as guitar retailers that we have a lot of these woods and pieces to build these guitars not just for ourselves, not just for our children, but our grandchildren's grandchildren, hopefully, uh, are still going to be rocking and rolling with a lot of these really fine instruments. So they're doing their part to, to uh, try to see to it that, that our wood reserves last for a long, long time. Here's how they do that. Uh, this guitar features African mahogany, uh, some like to call it uh, ribbon mahogany because of the ribbon-like lines in the mahogany. The back and side is a laminate construction. It's a layered wood product. What they do different than, than most is that they use mahogany all the way throughout. Uh, of course, any layered wood product is going to be three or more layers, and typically it's one layer of hardwood. They'll lay another layer of softwood at a 90-degree angle across it, and then another layer of hardwood on top, which then gets glued together and turned into an instrument. With theirs, they bypass the softwood product and give you the mahogany all the way through. So that is really going to affect the tone of the instrument. The whole point of the back and sides of an acoustic instrument, especially a, a bass acoustic instrument, uh, you need a, a tremendous amount of volume to keep up with, with big dreadnought guitars uh, and modern guitars. It's nice to have that very hard uh, mahogany uh, all the way through so that the guitar, bass guitar projects a little bit more. Uh, does feature African mahogany neck and a solid Sitka spruce top. Um, all of these pieces have, you can tell, their, their old stock uh, Sitka spruce. The graining on this particular instrument is extremely tight, so you know it was an older tree uh, and not something that was just clear cut after 12 or 14 years. On top of having a Sitka spruce top, this has an Alvin Call uh, fretboard and bridge. Alvin Call is a lot like a rosewood, works really great, feels great, needs to be oiled every now and then, about every six months, but other than that, uh, should give you years of service. They've got a nice medium jumbo fret, not too tall, not too small. Um, I tend to have, um, a pretty stiff grip with my left hand, so uh, I'm not a big fan of tall, narrow frets. I tend to pull those sharp uh, a bit, so these feel really, really great. They're done very well. You don't feel anything gritty uh, or anything like that when you shake the string. Uh, really nice feeling. Plastic, PPS, plastic uh, saddle and nut, well-cut nut. Features Breedlove tuners, sealed tuners. They work great. 
they feel like an 18 to 1 tuner, a, a typical bass tuner. It also features a Fishman Precis uh, pickup system. So this has a piezo, 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 however you want to say it. I'm going to say piezo because I'm uh, from the middle of a cornfield and that's how we would say something like that. Uh, it has a piezo pickup under the bridge. Uh, also this, this Precis preamp in it that features a built-in tuner, which is really, really handy. Uh, a phase switch so that you can uh, uh, change the phase if you're having feedback troubles. It also features a contour switch. So I'm gonna feature that contour switch just a little bit. I'm gonna play some without it. What you heard in the intro was without the contour. And then I'll play a little bit with the contour in and you can hear what it does. All right, that was flat signal. Here we go, we're gonna depress the contour switch. You should hear a little bit more low end and a little more top end. So there was that. A lot of uh, thickness uh, on the bottom end with that contour switch. I really, really dig it. So uh, my thoughts. This is a great playing and feeling bass. Um, as you can tell, I'm not draped over the bass. It's not swallowing, uh, swallowing me up. It does feature a con concert size body, uh, about a nine inch uh, set of hips on here. So really, really comfortable, puts the strings in a, a good spot for me. Uh, this is about where I would play my electric bass guitar on a strap, just in a little tighter to my body. So there is a little bit to get used to. The, the fact that you don't have, really have anywhere to rest your thumb is one thing that uh, some bass players uh, will have to work through doesn't take very long, but it does make you change your right hand technique a little bit. I'm one of those players that likes to anchor his thumb uh, on a pickup, and uh, or if I'm playing with a pick, to, to anchor it on the bottom side of the pickup uh, to play with a pick. As far as volume goes, you will be able to hear it with uh, an acoustic guitar or um, and the like. Uh, acoustically, you're probably not going to hear it very well with any kind of band situation with percussion and the like. Uh, the body has to be so large to get enough sound to get over a drummer uh, or a percussionist or several guitars. Uh, so something great to take to the bonfire, to take camping, to take to Sunday afternoon, porch sessions with your friends. Uh, really, really portable, great sound and bass. You can find it at More Guitars or More Music in Evansville, Indiana. Thank you all very much. Have a great one.